I have four sections to my project. My first step was research. I researched for most of the time given for the project since I had no time to actually start my dress. I mostly used videos from social media like YouTube and TikTok, but I also had a mentor in my mom. Although she told me she forgot how to use the sewing machine halfway, so my real mentor was YouTube. I downloaded Medibank Paint for sketching my design, but it was too complicated so I ended up using IBS Paint instead. Before I start sketching out my design, I did some planning beforehand. I picked between designs for each section of the dress. I knew I wanted short sleeves, so I picked between puff sleeves, circular sleeves, drop shoulder sleeves, tulip sleeves, and cap sleeves. I couldn't decide between these two, but I ended up using cap sleeves. For the skirt, I knew I wanted it to be long and flowy, so I chose between accordion, peri, truffle, and tear. <laughs> and I ended up picking truffle. For the neckline, I wanted it nothing above my collarbone. So I chose between square, sweetheart, asymmetric, straight across, and I ended up picking square. These are just some features I wanted to draw down about my dress. Is that good? That's not my proportions at all, but like, let's just pretend it is. I think there's nothing against your freaking tatas, but my tatas are not big, so. <laughs> Based on the different styles I've chosen, I incorporated my dream dress. For the shirt, the bodice is fitted and the boot part is a puff style. For the bottom part with pleats, there is a semicircle between the seam of the skirt and the shirt. The skirt is a long circle skirt with many layers to make it flowy. The sleeves are made of a long piece of mesh that connect to the back to enclose it like a cord. Here I'm just drawing each layer and method I need in order to make each part of the dress. Then I'm just going back to my original design and labeling all the different fabrics that I need and the measurements. When are you not busy? Can you like teach me how to put the thread in and stuff? I'm vlogging it. It's part of my project. <laughs> So you have to make one. So this is how you make one. Pag naubusan. Pag naubusan. Pag naubusan. Okay. Pag naubusan. 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 Pag naubusan.
for buying fabric, I went to the thrift store first in order to save some money. Then I went to the fabric store to buy all the supplies that I needed to buy. Here are all the products I got from the fabric store other than fabric. I should have gotten most of these at the beginning, but I wasn't able to, so most of them are useless. I really hope this is washes off because like this might be copy. Then you're not like you thought then you're back to reality. I was making sure that both of the lines were running up, but now that I'm just thinking about it, it doesn't really matter because as long as the front part is flat, then it'll be fine. It really doesn't matter. But if I knew that it didn't matter before, I could have saved so much time by not drawing these lines. I'm gonna do a zigzag stitch because I heard that like that it's better for fabric that free and this fabric frays a lot. So you can see. There's lots of birds. Do the zigzag stitch. Help me, or it's gonna look shell. so ugly. It's not working. Delicate. Yeah, I think it will. Oh, the needle just is out. Before I moved everything. Like maybe I was looking at it from afar and I was like, whoa, that's gonna stop it. Remember when I told you that I was going to get not ironing it before? Well, I'm regretting it because <laughs> it's like not flat. Like where I'm sewing. Like, and I know that's not because like, I know that's not normal because in some places it's completely flat. So, I'm gonna get ironed again. 
more time. It's gonna be covered by the pleats anyway, so. I can figure it out a little bit. Um, I think it would be nice with this silk thing, but it takes up a lot of fabric, you know, so like, I'm just feeling the other kind of finish. And for the bust part, I think I'm just gonna have them. I forgot what it is. I'm also like broke right now. I'm trying to imagine it. It's kind of really pretty. Oh my gosh. Um, okay. The mesh is stretchy. So I was like, you know what? I think I can do this. I can just deal with it, you know? I just stretch it out as I'm pinning. But I've been trying to pin this thing for like freaking like 30 minutes. That's an exaggeration, but still. I'm still stuck on mesh though. I kind of don't want to switch to silk. So I might just find mesh. And also I'm feeling sleepy, so I'm just gonna go to sleep. Because it's 34 a.m. right now. It's 4 a.m. <laughs> also, am I so smart for like doing this? Because like... Did you see that? I just put the pins here. Because it'll be easy to like pin. Just go like that. Like, oh, I'm so sorry. I did so much pinning, but I ended up taking it out because it wasn't really nice. So I'm gonna sew it and then I'm gonna move on to this part and then I'm done. I broke the needle. Every time makes my heart feel so, so fine. fine. I'm in heaven. Come over, baby. Just lay here with me. You know that I'll be the first thing you see. My phone died again? But guess what? I finished the fun part. The skirt was easy enough to not make a template, so I just repeated the process I did on the practice skirt over and over again for each layer I made. I then sewed all the little layers into little sections, and then I sewed those sections all together. Why is it like that? Because since I only have 5 meters, I don't have enough to make 3 full layers. The last one had have to be cut in half, and I didn't want to have that since I have it half for my mesh one. Here are all the different layers I was talking about. All the white pieces are longer than all the purple pieces, so I'm just gonna. I don't know why it's so scary to do this. I searched up how to sew an invisible zipper, and apparently, I have to use this. I messed up again. I didn't sew this on the inside. Finally, did the zipper. It's not even close to perfect, but. It's getting off and it worked. Finished product of the skirt, almost done. I'm reusing the string that I made for my practice dress so I can make the loops because it would take me too long if I didn't. I just broke the needle for the third time and I'm running out of needles, so I need to stop. Guys, what the heck? I broke another needle. I only have one left. I just finished sewing in her hoop, but I just realized how I'm even replacing a wrist hoop. And I'm not sure if I want to redo it because of the amount of needles I broke sewing these on, so I'm probably just going to leave it. Yeah, it's just really this one. It's like so ugly. It's supposed to be ugly over here. I tried on the shirt. It was like kind of weird. 
Guys, the time has finally come. These clips aren't from New Year's, but I fulfilled my goal by making this dress in time for it. During this project, I faced so many troubles dealing with my busy schedule and frustrating moments trying to learn new things. Aside from my obstacles, I'm so glad I chose this for my project. I've gained another hobby and interest in the process. Anyways, sorry to keep you waiting. This is a literally a war is over for me, but here's my montage of me running around in my dress. All the stars are bright, every wish is ours tonight. My love, pity those who wait, trust in love to fade, finding out too late that they've lost. It. Guys, my Cinderella moment. Never letting go They will never know The ways of love Got to believe in magic Tell me how two people fight Madame got a sleeping beauty moment too How do I always end up sleeping? The strangers You've got to believe in magic Something strong 